Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Movie Social. Co-host Stefan Rick here. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a review, spoiler version, of The Old Guard, a movie that dropped yesterday on Netflix. Uh, be before we get into the review, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, comment down below. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and join the family. So, The Old Guard uh, essentially is about... Immortal, the old guard, <laughs> the immortal <laughs> mercenaries, who basically, essentially, um, are thousands of years old, and they don't die. They do die. You find out that there is a way of dying, but essentially, that they don't die. Um, and they don't know when they're gonna. Die. Yeah, and they don't Which, know when they're gonna die. I think something's up with that. They gotta figure. Out, they're gonna want to have to figure out a way to be yeah. going. And what's happening with that? So, and what happens is, they 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 are they get exposed. Like someone finds out about them and their powers and stuff like that. And in the meantime, they find someone or link up with someone who is one of who literally just gets gets these powers. They have to divulge into that. They didn't link up with the person. No, no, they no. had the dream. Yeah. So they all had the same up. dream. That's why I said link up. Like they linked up. Mentally, yeah. to know this person. Oh, we got another one on our on our hands. Yeah, I mean, but that's how they always respond to each other. Yeah. So, which is weird. I thoroughly enjoyed it. This was one of the best to me movies that came out this year. Um, I mean, it was good. Own, it was a great I, script, but I'm not putting it as one of the best for this year. It was good. I like. Again, your opinion. I said I that I. Your right, opinion. Go ahead. Go ahead. Anyway. I like the action. I like the writing. Um, I don't know too much about the characters, but I mean about the actors. But I like the, who who they played and how they portrayed the characters. Um, if Netflix, if you hear me out here, I don't know if y'all watch these videos. If you don't make a part two to this, I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm gonna just be upset. But before they make a part two to this, we still gotta get Bright Two and Three out the way. Whenever Will Smith can get off of the red table. Bro, bro, listen. It's neither here or there, okay? I don't care about that. But anyway. Go ahead, so yeah, your thoughts. So, okay, so to me, it was good because I I seen a portrayal coming, but I didn't see a portrayal coming I seen at the same time. A while, a while, a while ago. Uh, I seen it, but I didn't see it at the same time because they tried to hide it. They tried. But I could see that somebody was going to portray somebody. Yes. Because you had one, Copley. Copley. Mm -hmm. It's a main, it's a major character, mm -hmm. and he's, you can tell by who they casted to play him. Mm -hmm. So that alone led me to believe something was going to be going on. And then with Charlize Theron's character uh, Andy saying that we don't do repeats, so if he's being a repeat, something's got to give. How does a repeat get in contact with you guys if you guys disappear? And there's no way of them getting in contact. So somebody had to be in contact with them multiple times. Mm -hmm. So that led the little bread crumbs for that. But before, other than that, to me, I didn't see most of this stuff coming. Really? No. I, I tried not to watch the trailers, none of that. The only so. trailer I watch is the one that we watched together. I didn't listen to audio. Oh, I don't okay. listen to the audio, so I don't care to see what's going on. I'd rather be knowing and unknowing at the same time gotcha okay but to me it had a presence of having female characters being a strong lead score which was a good thing mm -hmm. and especially when having a black female character playing the lead being able to heal her wounds after the fact so to me it had some kind of symbolism to it of the black woman getting birth and all in the way hear me out you gotta give birth it's, you know, for women as a whole, it's, it's a painful process. It's a strong thing for a woman to give birth. But for a black women, it's even more of a thing. Because, let's black face girl it, magic. black women it was definitely, are being killed in the process. It was definitely black. black girl magic because, um, now we can get into the spoilers. Yeah, um, I mean, she, was, she wasn't the lead character. She wasn't the lead. Charlie she was like was the lead, But to me, she was the main number two. Yes. The rest of the were supporting cast. Yes. Um, it started off with, um, her name is Niall. 
and you find she's she's an army sergeant marine marine she's, she's a marine. marine i'm sorry she's a marine but she's a sergeant if i'm not mistaken right I believe so yeah she's, she's a sergeant and they're on this mission and something she has the mission under control until one of the the her 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 teammates does like take their eyes off the prize for a split second i mean that's all it takes and that's all it takes and she got she gets a throat slit like literally slit and at that moment the um the group is sleeping on a train and they all wake up gasping because now they know that okay someone now is out there that, who got killed was about to revive themselves without knowing what's going on yeah now that part i kind of was iffy on that because i expected more blood to be splattered when they, her throat was slashed to me it wasn't enough blood splatter you cut the juggler you expect a lot of blood just to immediately gush out but isn't the juggler like more over here no, she like no, put no, more no, like no, this but no, i don't know I'm, I'm not a doctor anyway so she wakes up and she's like yo i was dead bro <laughs> she knew that yeah. she was dead and yeah, i mean she tried to hide it That's yeah she tried bad. to hide it because they was like let's see uh, let's see your scar she showed him no scar she was it was like wait you don't have no scar what's going on oh yeah they use skin graft knowing damn well i mean first of all it has been a long surgery if they gonna yes. use skin graft and then it took a lot of time for it to heal mm -hmm. unless that time that's hot no not even a time jump it was the next day so for that to be a skin graft and all that stuff it, that would have took a lot of surgery but they were they were basically sending her to germany no they were see the thing was they weren't really going to send her to germany they were going to put her in jail really you thought they were going to put no, her they, in jail they even said it oh well, that's yeah, the part of this was, they were getting everybody was looking at her because they they were putting her in jail because they don't know what was going on so you know a society's thing oh we don't know what this is we can't explain it so what we're going to do is punish the person instead of trying to find out what's yeah. going on we torture and punish yeah yeah so it and then that's when um andy comes up saves her puts her in a trunk drives off her. no but she escapes right and they start they start fighting and then she starts trying to run that's when she shoots her in the back of the head like bow i mean honestly i think she was going to do that anyway just to try and make just her try sure yeah and then when she's like, and the way they heal is crazy. They say that like after after a couple times, it gets faster. It gets faster, depending but, on the but size, size of, of the wound. Yeah, yeah, you find that out a little bit later on in the, in the movie. But to me, I like the uh, special effects of the healing process. Yes, it, it didn't look cheesy. Yes. It's not just it's not just like gun wounds, it's bones too. Yeah, it didn't look cheesy. It looked it more realistic in a sense because I mean it's not really. Really. realistic but i mean the way the wounds heal like how you get a cut you see how it takes time and heals and the way it heals that's how it looks it heals which, which is a great part into the um as you're standing it heals from the inside out which all heals uh, all wounds in real life do they heal from the inside and they make their way up to the skin level and they heal that way well we hope except for emotional wounds <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Emotional that was hilarious. Wounds. Emotional wounds. I don't know. <laughs> that was that was hilarious. I'm sorry. But I. I can't. But anyway. That was hilarious. Go ahead. Take it. I mean, I gotta keep... <laughs> we didn't find out why everything was going on. Why there was a setup afoot. Yes. Because of like always, rich people find out about something. That's mysterious, magical, that nobody really knows about. They gotta have it. Yep. Just because they feel entitled to have it. So he hires the former CIA agent, uh, Copley, to basically bring them to him. He has his own military group. I'm still trying to figure out this out. Why is it that these fucking rich people have private military groups that's allowed to do whatever the hell they please they, they even mentioned like it in let's the movie. put a stop to this money type of thing they mentioned yeah, it they mentioned it in the movie which is so hilarious. they start they devise a plan to uh take the people take them to study them one experiments and this whole time he's trying to have this whole so holier than thou type of 
scheme about them. Well, you're being you're hoarding this for your own use when we could be using this to cure cancer, cure diseases, and do this and that other stuff. When all it is for him is just about the money. Yep. That's all he really cares about. He don't really care about him saving anybody else's life. And he shows by trying to say, well, it doesn't matter if they die from it. We're going to keep them here until we get what we want and can make the money that we want on it. We're not going to let them out so other people can do the same thing with them. I'm like, eh, you're just being about yourself. So it it dives deep into like, like how old that some of them are, mm -hmm. um, how they met, um, and the how they die, like are. how like I said, like we spoke about, uh, they just like their their wounds just stop healing. Now we do know Andy was the original one. We don't know how she came about being one, mm -hmm. but she was the original one. Then there became another woman that was Queen, with her, yeah. whom who plays a major role in this. Yes, because. They were together for a while before yeah. they got caught, and of course, you know, witches! witches. Salem witch trials. That's exactly yeah. when they got caught. I mean, no, no, it wasn't the Salem witch trials. This was before. Because this was, they weren't in the U.S. at that time. I don't know where they were, but they, they, they thought they were witches. Yeah, and, and you, you know, they them, hung them multiple times. They never died. While well, they came back they to life this time. <laughs> and so, at, at a certain point, they got smart. Put one of them inside a casket and Battered, buried her alive in water with the with the face part open so that way she'll drown each time and keep killing herself. Yeah, and Which she did that. They said that, that she drowned and was surviving for 500 plus years. They, but the thing was, Charlie Theron never knew where they dumped her body at. Yeah, they said that they did They did say that they went looking for her. Yes, but they kept finding her because they didn't know. I mean, it's the ocean. Uh, Most of this world, 7% of this world is covered in water. Yeah, so. if you drop something here, and by the time it gets to the bottom of the ocean, it could be over in China somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it could travel yeah. currents and all that. Exactly. And let's face it, they're not swimming to the bottom of the ocean. Granted, they could die and keep swimming. And die and keep swimming. Yeah. But that's painful. I'm pretty sure that dying... Well, they feel up and they do feel all the pain. Yeah, they still feel all the pain. But I'm pretty sure, like... Dying and, and bring, like coming back to life is, it's it's an ex it probably is an experience. Like it just has to be an experience. Yeah, I mean it, you can tell from my Niles' uh, reaction when she comes back to life the first few times. Uh, uh, whenever okay. they come back though, no, 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 this is what I did do realize, right? So after a while, the four, um, Andy, Book, Joe, and Nikki, like they are used of it, used to it. Mm -hmm. So like they don't make like these weird noises. Like every time that Nile dies and she comes back, she's like has that deep. <gasps> like, because <laughs> I mean, she's surprised though. It's her first breath of life after. Like, they, like when, when, like when they first see, like not the first scene, like when, when they go to um, the thing that they rescue the kids that they thought, and they all get killed. Now that scene was hot. That that was a dope scene, and they just was like, okay, stretching it out. I mean, they, they also did have to try to be quiet because they wanted to sneak back up on them. Yo. get the drop and yo they were shook i'm not andy's was shook. her they her fighting up. skills in this it, it was reminiscent to two movies and again you can agree and disagree whatever it reminded me of some choreography and in resident evil yep i would agree on that one and the underworld well, underworld okay somewhat she I was even said tomb raider have i seen tomb raider never seen none of the Tomb Raiders. I'm trying to think. Was that the one with, uh... You got it. Angelina Jolie That's and Tomb Raider. And then you have the new recent one. I gotta see the recent one. And one with Angelina Jolie, it wasn't... Uh, I mean, but the fighting techniques Okay, stuff. but it, it definitely reminded me of, like, some Resident Evil. Uh, I type definitely, I would say Resident Evil. Um, but it was really good. Um, I would... I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would suggest that you watch it. Um... And before we finish, I do want to, this is why we think there's going to be a number two. But you got to, hold on, before we can say that part. What? Because it turned out that Booker was the one oh, yeah. that was betraying them and Oops. trying to help. But he was doing it because he thought that they could be trusted to do the right thing, to try and help save humanity. Because his own child got from cancer. Yeah. And so True. he had to watch his child suffer, knowing he couldn't die, and his child knew that he couldn't die. And, and they thought they could share the gift some way, somehow. They thought they could share it. Yeah. So I understood why he betrayed them, but 
when he found out how what was going on and that Andy no longer was healing, it, he completely switched back and wanted to help. Mm -hmm. to break them out. But in the end, they did tell him he has no contact with them for a hundred years and they'll meet back up at this one spot in a hundred years and then they would forgive him. Which I was like, mm, must be hard when y'all are immortal to be forgiven of somebody. Hundred years, you be like, damn, hundred years, but for them, they've been living for thousands of yeah, years. Yeah, so it's gonna be like nothing for them. Yeah, and then he, he's like, it's six months later, it jumps yeah. six months later, and well, even before that, they make Copley work for them to oh, help yeah. cover their footprints because he uncovered a lot. Yeah, being able to track down when they were at different times helping people. Yeah, the Crusades the and all that stuff. Civil War. Her basically, she was an she was an assassin or a mercenary for good. Like she would like sometimes it yeah. depends. Yeah, so she would like what it was. She would like kill one person, and then the person that she saved would basically like become like a person who came with like with the, the 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 cancer or not the cancer like the cure for like a big disease or something like that. That's what they were alluding to. Yeah, stuff um, like that. I mean, they were helping people for good but bad. At the same, as well, sometimes it depends on the timing and the and the situation. But yeah. for most times, they were doing a lot of good. And right. so now they want him to cover their tracks. Because they want to, they want to do that again. Because I mean, honestly, you're living in the modern world where everything has a camera, mm -hmm. so you're getting captured everywhere. So somebody's got to cover your tracks, and they're exposed now. So before I even say why it's gonna be part two, though, the way that um the Niall found out about um Queens she had a dream about her um and she was like yo she's been she, and they told a story about her so then fast forward towards the end six months later uh Booker goes into I guess like his house or wherever he's yeah, living wherever he's and he someone's in there and it's this lady with his red coat on and lo and behold she was like oh so you're the mighty Booker I was like oh and she's finally escaped from the waters, which is going to be interesting to see if Netflix picks this back up for yeah. another, another Netflix. Uh, movie to see how did she if escape. you don't. And what's in store? You're hurting my feelings because I need to know these things. I don't think she's going to be very happy with Andy. No, that's why. I need to see Even this. though Andy did try to find her. We still don't know what's going to happen with this. Yeah, like, because she, she probably like, oh, how long did you look for me? This, that, and third. Like, it's so much that we need to know. I really think they had a more of a romantic relationship. It is it. You, you can tell that Andy had, uh, this makes out funny, different lovers in different times. I mean, you had to. She, she, she was in love with the black guy. For thousands of years. She, I mean, because you remember she had the picture with the guy. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, um, that, no, I found, so listen, she was getting, she was getting busy in different time periods. I mean, yeah. With kings and all. Yeah. But anyway, let us know what you guys thought in the comments below. Did you like the movie? Did you like the review? Did you hate it? Let us know what you guys thought. And until next time.